Have you heard of the art of the disappearing council? I think that's a tradition. Imagine this. You're speaking at the court. Apart from the rustle of papers and the humming of the air conditioning, the entire court is quiet. All five judges of the federal court are listening to you intently. You are telling your side of your client's story. Your words are compelling. Time doesn't matter. Time stands still. There is an occasional judicial query, but the other judges are eager for the story to continue and they are interested in the story. It is not about you. It's not about your Brioni suit. It's all about your client's story, your arguments, and your logic is so compelling. Your descriptions are so deep that the judges can see pictures of the various points in your story. In their minds, they are watching a moving video. You are telling it. Only your words matter. The pictures that you speak of with your words begin to infuse into the minds of the judge. You disappear. You are standing there. You are speaking. But you disappear. Only your story is alive and organic. It's a living creature. It's moving. It's enacting itself before the eye of the court's mind. There's lightning. There's justice. There's fire. Everything hangs in the balance. It's got a tight plot. It's got momentum. It's got characterization. The sudden twist in the plot. The shining question. Not a confused conclusion that pulls at the nose of the court. And the story is so interesting that it compels the judges to answer in your favor. Have you ever told stories to your grandchildren or to your children? Try that. All the rhetoric that you learned at the bar, all your legal training as a lawyer will not prepare you with doubts that your children assail you with. That, my friend, is the disappearing act. It is the tradition of telling a story truthfully, correctly, economically, briefly, with color, with fire, with sounds, energy, movement. That is a tradition of the bar.